Now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about the teachings of Jesus and his kingdom. And someone might ask the question, how does a person seek first God's kingdom? It is important for us to understand that God's kingdom should take first place in our lives. Even in the Lord's Prayer that we read in Matthew 6 today, teaches us to pray first about God's kingdom coming and his will to be done before we go on to personal matters in prayer. This teaches us that God wants us to care more about his purposes in this world than even our own daily concerns. You see, God is quite able to look after all of our needs. He can feed us, he can clothe us, and provide everything we need. In fact, God promises you and I that he will do all of this for us when we are seeking his kingdom first. The trouble for most of us is that we simply are not willing to believe what God has promised. If we put his affairs first, then we can know that he will look after our affairs. Do you believe this? I can speak to you as one who has experience in this area, and I have found God is perfectly faithful. As I place my trust in him and seek to serve him and put his kingdom first, then he provides for me in every way. I know plenty of others who also live by faith in God and find their needs are always met. So what does it mean to seek God's kingdom first? It means that what is important to God will also be important to me. If Christ came and died for the church, purchasing the church with his own blood, then I should also be willing to love the church and make church the great object of my time and devotion. This means I will invest myself into the care of God's people and regularly meet with them to participate in the spiritual activities of the church, such as prayer, worship, teaching, and service. To seek God's kingdom is not possible for those who think Sunday church services are optional if they feel like going. It also means giving up my time and resources to help further God's kingdom. There is much to do for our Master. He wants all souls to be saved. He wants Christians to grow in the relationship to Him. He wants Christians to grow in their relationship to Him, and therefore we must commit ourselves to helping in that important work. Christians who come for one hour on Sunday to listen to a sermon are not seeking God's kingdom first. It is much more involved than just being a part of an audience to a paid preacher. It involves your heart and your commitment to follow Jesus and to learn to emulate him. It means taking time to reveal Christ to your family and friends, both by your actions and also by your words. All of this seeking first God's kingdom will most certainly require a personal devotion to God by reading his word daily and a healthy prayer life. This is the means for the Holy Spirit to work in our lives and build our love for God, for his word and for his people, and for his worship and service. The spiritual life is fostered by drawing near to the Lord to hear him speak in his word and to speak to him in prayer. If we can abide in him through our devotional life, then seeking his kingdom first will be a natural outflow of our growing relationship to him. Far too many Christians are content to just hear a sermon now and again and think they are living for Christ, when really they are living for themselves and the riches of this world. Perhaps you will stand away from the crowd and choose to be one of those who puts God first and his kingdom. Remember what we read, no one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Matthew chapter 6 verse 24